Hmm. What would make a good intro? The waterfall? No. Uh, destroying that rock? Hmm, no. Blowing up the merchant I've done many times before. Uh, climbing and jumping off Catcall Tower? Eh, that would take too long. Uh, swimming in the cream soda pond. That could be a thing. No, it doesn't look like cream soda right now, so I'd have to change it into the daytime. Ah. Uh, ah! We have a new weapon! A new wa weapon means death. It means fury. It means battle. It means bloodlust. It means kill. It means insta-kill. It means destroy you. And then insta-kill you. And then blow you up. And then do the same to your cousin. You get over here. Die. Die. No, 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 no. You do not get up. You do not get up. Let me shoot you down. I'll shoot you down. Boom, 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 bang. Yeah. Your your brain explode. Boom. Yeah. Wait, is it over? Is it over? It is over. That was lame. You know what? No, that was not quite good enough. We've done we've done one te demon scroll before, but we haven't done two. Let's do two. I will beat. Oh, you, 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 you'll die first because now that I look at it, you have like eight noses on you, and you will be slowed down, and you will actually. You know what? I I said fury, fury. You get over here. You die. You die along with your friends, and you will be destroyed in lust for blood and fangs and fire. I am fire. I am death. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got some stray beads and fought a battle that was ridiculously hard. If you're wondering where on earth you, if this is your first video watching Pal plays and you're wondering what dark corner you came, you crawled into, uh, this is Pal Plays, <laughs> and I don't speak that bubbly all the time, so keep watching, I w uh, I, it will get better. So, uh, yeah, this episode we're going to be completing more side quests, however, day, uh, night time is not the place to be waking people up, asking them if, we have side if they have side quests for us to do. Daytime is the time to do that. Well, not wake up, wake them up, but, you know. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we got all of the stray beads for for the Dragon Palace and North Ryoshima Coast last episode. If I'm missing one, then I'm sorry, but I'll get back to it. Um, so I would like to go to the regular old Ryoshima Coast to get the last of the stray beads there. Whoa, <laughs> that kind of scared me. Oh, Ram Rainbow Zirconium. That that was a thing at one point. Uh, where we would like it, where I want to go is actually I did mention we were going to be getting things in Seon City, but that will have to be put on hold for a moment because I would like to deal with the side quest that I've actually <laughs> I've actually wanted to do this side quest or sort of do this side quest since like the third episode or a little bit more than that. You remember this r the running guy? He's very similar to the one in uh, Shinshu Field. Hit him! Oomph, you're pretty sure of yourself, huh, Pooch? And you should listen to him. Wow, I'm on fire today. I feel as light as anything now that now that mist is lifted from the city. No time to lose then. Super fast Hayate has got to get back to work. Super fast Hayate. Huh? What do you want? What's with the cheeky twinkle in your eye, Pooch? You want to race? Okay. Super fast Hayate will give you a run for your money. I seriously doubt it, because I have 700,000 monies, and you probably have, what, two? I will beat you with my monies any day. I could hire someone to beat you, and I will beat you with the power of my wallet. So, let's get, let's get to it. Are you ready? Yep. Go! Hey, you didn't give me a set, that's cheating. Okay, uh, the best way to beat him is just cut through here, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. Just cut through here, and you'll beat him. Wait, what? We won't? 
Wait, what? What? We didn't beat. He won? Wait. Oh! <laughs> Never mind! I thought I knew something! But instead, I knew nothing. What do you want? I want to race. Ready? Go! Okay, so apparently. Apparently, I, I got the gist of things wrong. We want to run this way and avoid being right behind him because he drops spikes. And then we want to do this and keep running faster than him? Is that... Is that how I do? Oh, yeah, that, that's how I do. Okay, man, I had the chance to turn around and I still beat him. Where is he? He's running the other way. Or is he? What? What is going on? Seriously, what? He didn't... He's cheating! Okay, so I actually figured it out. You're not supposed to beat him at all. You're actually supposed to just stick close to him. Just so you don't get out of range of him, and you're al you always keep up with him, you will somehow win. So the point is not to get super far ahead, because if you do that, it will deactivate the thing. Just keep running, and... <laughs> Watch his really funny chicken run, and we can beat him. Like so. See, he's actually turned around. We're going the other direction now. And, whoa, I'm going to kind of swivel and take the outside of the turn, so we're not going too fast for him. And then we should beat him. If we don't beat him, I'll be very, very upset. Okay, did we beat him? What did, did we do it? Where are we going? What? No! No! You... Game! 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 That is not how you work! Wait a minute. Wait a minute! <laughs> okay, guys. I got this way... Way... Um... Wrong... <laughs> Not wronger. I got this. I got this way off base. Way more than I needed. I ca I overcomplicated it. It so much more than I needed to. <laughs> You're not supposed to outrun him. You're not supposed to to just catch up with him. You're supposed to tackle him. Why didn't I think of that? You're just supposed to get in front of him and tackle. <laughs> it's hardly a race, and he didn't explain it at all. But. <laughs> Wow, okay. So that was way more complicated than, than it needed to be. You caught up with me already? I, n I had never have guessed it, but you're a real sprint sprinter, Pooch. Look like, looks like you've got one victory now. 30 praise. Wow, this... Uh, we actually have to do this three times, so let's talk to him again. I better speed up if I'm losing to a wolf. I'm going to polish up those golden feet of mine, so come back soon. Uh, I believe that by soon he means... Uh, a, a day so let's do this and then I don't I don't think this will work we have to change again oh actually yes okay so just one cycle so just change it 12 hours so that will work I've been practicing I'm a whole lot faster than I was before anyway I can't chat gotta fly ready go okay this is this will be easy now that I know what to do we just have to get right in front of him man he actually is faster we have to get in front of him I'm gonna cut the corner a little bit and then just come at him head on, without hitting that, and tackle! Phew! You caught up with me again? You're fast, Pooch. A top sprinter. Wow, you got two victories under your belt now. And 40 praise! Oh man, hallelujah, Snorktopus. Don't act ask me what a Snorktopus is, I'm reusing someone else's joke. Okay, so let's talk to him a third time. And play for Mad Cash. Aha! There you are. Listen, Pooch, I need to talk to you. I, Super Fast Hayate, want to challenge you again. I want to take back the title of Ryushima's number one. You've totally outclassed me up to up to now. But I'm not going to run staring at your tail wagging anymore, pal. Hey, pal. <laughs> and and just to show you how serious I am this time, if you beat me, I'll hand over my job to you. Well, time to time we got this show on the road, right? I'm not gonna lose this time. Not today. Not ever. Let's sprint. Ready. Set. Go! Okay, so he's way faster this time. Uh, he's dropping a bunch of spine spine and goggles behind him, but I know the secret. Just do this. Hey, buddy! 
Oop. That ow! No. <sighs> okay, I'll, I have to hand it to him. He's a little bit faster. He beat me. He beat me. He beat me. He beat me. No. That 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 does not do. Man, that get over here. That just doesn't do. Oh, what's this? The pooch who snuck away with its tail between its legs is, is back. You want to take me on again? Aha, sure. I don't run from a challenge. Any challenge. I I said I bet my job as fastest courier on in Ryoshima on this. So come on. Time for the final showdown. Doodle do doodle do doodle do. Do 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 do. Do 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 This is probably getting annoying for you, but I like it. Okay, you, sir, are beaten! No, I happened again. No, no, don't keep running. Let me catch up to you and not fail. Yes, okay, I'm at full speed. Nothing could go wrong. Hello! What? I don't believe it! I, super fast Hayate, the fastest runner in Ryushima, beaten in in the once in a lifetime decider of deciders. <laughs> I lost. I really lost to this shaggy beast. I'm actually a secret villain. No, I'm not. <laughs> there's there's another one to you then, Pooch, or another million, huh? And 50 praise, so total, we've gotten 120 praise from this quest. My big brother in Shinshu Field was telling me about a wolf. It's you, isn't it? You must be the be a real fa- be a, bleh. You must be real famous over there, huh? So, anyway, a promise is a promise. I'm handing over all Ryushima's deliveries to you. Uh, what do you look like lack for? You don't look very happy. Surely you don't think I could carry on doing it. I lost. You don't think I could? I should carry on with the delivery? Uh, you think I should carry on with the deliveries, huh? Oh, well, if you really insist, then I'll do it. You're you're pretty kind for a wolf. I won't forget. As a symbol of our friendship, I want to ha you to have this. It's not much, but it's yours now. You obtained Stray Bead! I'm going to keep running as long as I live, and one day I'll be fast enough to beat you. Huh. Huh. That, that's funny. You won't be fast enough to beat you, beat me if I never play your game again. Huh? -huh. Yeah, you, you didn't think of that, now did you? Huh? Huh? Okay, I, that that wasn't really going anywhere. Okay, so now that we have the final stray bead of Ryushima Coast, I would like to go to Seon City because a lot of stuff has opened up to us, like I've said before. So let's go. It's just a hop, hop incoming, a hop, a skip, and finally... Wait for it. Wait for it. It was a hop and a skip. Only one thing can remain. A jump away from Ryushima. Or, you know, not Ryushima, but say on. Okay, so where we want to go is nighttime. Yes, the location we're going to is nighttime. So nighttime, let's go. So there's nighttime. And then we want to go... I missed. Doe, I missed. Okay. We want to go this way, this way, up here, here, and then we want to go up the avenue that Nova opened up to us a while ago. We want to go up this water spout because it will lead us somewhere very interesting. Swim up, Matarasu. So we will swim up the water and then we will reach something that is a very, very queer. Especially for this game, even for this game. A floating island. Skyloft, or not. The Nippon equivalent of Skyloft is up here. What is this strange looking place, you ask? Well, it's already looking slightly familiar. Kamo. Hmm? Amaterasu? Huh? How do you know Ami's name? Oh, that little bouncing guy's with you too. Well, Captain Waka did say you guys were inseparable. Who are you calling Little? Wait a sec. Did you just say Captain Waka? That imbecile's a captain? We work under Captain Waka, and he reports directly to Queen Himiko. <clears throat> you, got, you missed the memo. <laughs> We're the Tau Master Special Investigation Troop. But you can call us the Tau Troopers for short. 
Tau Trooper. Camo. Tau Troopers. I don't know if I like the sound of that. This is our headquarters, but Captain Waka is out on a special mission right now. Of course he is. He told me about you two after he left, or before he left, and he said you, you could inspect our headquarters if you wanted. Bah, I knew that half big prophet was up to something. He knew we were coming. I bet the place is just crawling with traps. Keep your eyes peeled, Ami. So, I've yet to see any traps. Isun, you said there are traps. I don't see traps. Traps? Traps? I don't see traps. Okay, so... Interesting. I was trying to see if there's a design on that, but it doesn't appear so. So, we, there's a chest back here. I kind of suspected as much. And then... We should probably go through the main door, because it was just really weird. Be Hi! Bye! <laughs> so, let's go in the main door. So, of course, Waka would have his own theme song playing here, but we get to see a, a really, a really new side of Nippon. We have these glowing columns and what look to be computer screens. And if you look on them, uh, let's see if I can get a really good angle on this. Uh, I can't look in first person. I, I guess this is the best we're going to be getting. If you look at, at that screen, you will see that it's actually displaying bosses that we've faced thus far. Uh, let's see if I can identify them. There's the, the Spider Queen, and then that's uh, the Crimson Helm, and then Orochi, and then Blight's right there, and then Ninetales not on there? Is it on this one? I... Oh, that one's Ninetales. That's not Crimson Helm. It's Ninetales. So Crimson Helm is mysteriously missing from there, from that, but yeah, you get to see computer screens with information about the bosses we've faced on them. I guess this is a much better way of showing. So yeah, that's really, it's really interesting. It gives Waka a little bit more character because we can get see a little bit of, it's not really background, but it's, it, it's a weird side of Waka and a weird, it's just a weird avenue to go down to see all this technology, to see that Waka has stuff that nothing else in Nippon has. He has computers. It's mu that's how he knows so much about things. He he has Google. Now that's an impressive statue. Wait, I take that back. I don't want to compliment that guy's stuff. Okay. Interesting. We have all glowy pillars, which don't hurt us. And then we have this guy, which I have conveniently ignored. Hey, this guy. How are you doing? Abe. Oh, this is terrible. Just terrible. Hey, what's wrong, Chief? Listen to this. I've always been fascinated by Captain Waka. You and me both, buddy. And that's why I tra trained so hard to join the Tau Troopers. I'm still considered a new recruit. Novice Tau Trooper, Abe. You actually care about that half-baked prophet? Bah, that is terrible. No, no, that's not what I meant. The terrible part comes after I joined. I'd only been in the Tau Troopers for a few days when I lost my Tau mask. Each member only gets one. That's a lame rule. Oh, you mean that thing the other guy was wearing over his eyes? What's the big deal about that? It is a big deal. The captain's going to skin me alive if I don't find it. <laughs> that half-baked prophet ha ha sure has some weird hang-ups. I went out for a walk to show off my new mask to everyone. And that's when this strange man bumped into me. He must have stolen it right then. How could you not notice someone's taking a mask right off your face? That's my exact thought, Isun. I can't believe I lost my Tau mask. Each member only gets one. The captain's going to skin me alive if I don't find it. Say, would you fellows mind searching around the city for it? I can't leave my post, and there's no one else I, I can ask. You, can, you must help me, please. If you find it, I'll tell you a secret about Captain Waka. Hmm, okay. That's actually a really good trade-off, because we're interested in about Waka. We want to know more about him, especially after seeing all this very strange out-of-place technology. So, a secret about Waka. Sure, deal. Can we tell him deal? Uh, he says the same thing, okay. So, where we need to go is not far away. All we have to do is jump off here, and it should bring us right to where I need to go. Uh, and that was not, I did not mean the water. I meant this guy. This guy holds the secret of to it all. Have you heard the news? 
The water dragon stopped causing trouble and the sea is safe again. I bet it's because I worked so hard at my guard duty. The water dragon must have, must have been able to hear my thoughts. I should take advantage of my good fortune. It's about time I caught that no good criminal once and for all. Hayazo! He's been up to his old antics again. He only operates at night though. It gets pitch black here, so it's impossible to spot him. So it stands to reason that we just have to make it brighter. I suppose I just have to wait until the big lanterns are lit. Hmm. Big lanterns, eh? Ha 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 ha. Um. <laughs> I I have no idea <laughs> where where I was going with that. Okay, so what we want to do is use fire burst right here. Is not not what we need to do. Now that's one big brazier. They must use it to light up the road at night, but it's completely out now. Okay, so I believe what we want to do is find a source of fire, aka this, and then we want to go around lighting the torches all over the city. Okay, so now that that's lit, we'll get the secret sound, and then we can talk to this guy. Look, I don't believe it. The gods must have heard my pleas. The big lanterns have suddenly become a flame. This must be a sign from above. The gods must be telling me to ca catch Hayazo. He may have gotten away with his crimes in the darkness up to, up to now, but there's nowhere for him to hide with all this light. He must be taking cover somewhere nearby. Now I just have to lie and wait until he shows his face. In the open. In a corner. Okay, so what we want to do is... Um... Um... Okay, yeah, what we want to do is chop some of these rocks. I know that sounds really strange, but if we chop these rocks, something will happen. It because in one of these rocks, why did that go out? It should not have gone out. There. If we chop one of these rocks. Yep, it's this one. Then Hayazo the thief will come out of the stone. <laughs> you found me. Not bad, pal. Not bad at all. Let me introduce myself. My name's Hayazo, master of thieves. I was born to pick pockets. You see. They say I even picked the, the midwife's pocket when I was born. Nice to meet ya. Master of Thieves, Hayazo. Master of Thieves? Yep, but picking pockets ain't my only skill, you know. I can run super fast, even faster than a wolf. Huh? You saying you could take us on, mister? You, might, you may be a master thief, but Furball here is a master snatcher. No matter who it is, this furry snatcher just gets the goods. Especially from sleazy thieves like you. Hee hee hee! Think you can take something from me, do ya? Well, no one can match my vanishing act. No one ever has, no one ever will. Mess with me and you'll eat my dust. You gonna take me on? Well? <laughs> You're toast, Hayazo. There ain't, there's no escape once Ami here sets after some prey. That is true. Go ahead, give it a shot. You're no match for the skill of Hayazo, Master of Thieves. First one, then two, get them in order. I split apart and take off in a cloud of dust. One, two. Okay, so we have to use we uh, we have to use the the uh, the celestial brush techniques on these guys. First one, and then where did he go? He's over here. And then, but da 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 two. You're done. No, you're not done. Why aren't you done? Why aren't you done? You should be done. No. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. You get hit with. Yay! We did it. I made it. Wow. Okay. Come on. Let me talk. Oh, I, I hit you! <laughs> there! <laughs> fiddlesticks! No, no, not fiddlesticks, sir. Not fiddlesticks. That is a champion that is good. <laughs> Mention someone who's annoying, like Timo or, I don't know, Ari, because she actually has a connection with this game. Okay, so we get the glass watch. Um, uh, snakes? Um, we have to bring this to someone... Um, I'm not sure who. 
Snap, I'm not sure who. Uh, you? <laughs> Can I talk to you? It's impossible. He's just too fast. There's no way I can catch up with him. I guess I'll just have to pretend I didn't see him. Oh, that's not the spirit of doing things. Okay, so the glass watch. Uh, I'm guessing it belongs to this gentleman. Just because that makes sense. And it actually does. Wow, okay. Oh, it's you, dog. What is it you have there? Surely it's not my precious glass watch. You offered glass watch. How in the world did you get this back from Hayazo? You must be some kind of miracle worker. Okay, so I I did right. I did I did right, guys. Right was done. Okay, so the the uh, next round of this, there are four rounds of this little charade slash competition. Man, I don't like that. And he's not there. Okay, is he here? Is he here? Yes, he is. He was right next to the guard. <laughs> Happy because you got the goods back, are ya? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. My vanging act can't be beat. First one, then two. Get him in order. I split apart and do stuff. Three, okay. Fire. Power slash. Water. Okay, so fire. No. Fire. No. Fire. There. Fire. Power slash to the guy who's running in midair, and then you, no, you can't, oh, no, where, where did I, no, 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 sir, you get watered upon, yeah, that was great, I would not have caught him otherwise, ugh, glad you stuck around long enough for me to do this, how'd you do that again, okay, so what we get this time, it's not really apparent, but it is, in fact, a chrysanthemum hairpin. And I was wrong. Oh, wait, yeah, I was right. No, actually, no, this is not... I was wrong both times. This is not the hairpin. This is millet. Millet dumplings? Dumplings of millet? I don't know. Uh, so, I have no idea who to take these to. Uh, you? Hi, hi, man. Uh, where are we... I have no idea wh who, who to take these to. So I guess I'll just run around to random people. I can do this real quick. Woo do do. No. Woo do do. There. I did woo do do. Uh, and take these to people. I'm guessing actually we should go to the restaurant. That seems like the that seems like the natural natural response. Can we even go in a place with this? Oh, here it is. Okay, you bring him to the carpenter's place, which I'll show it on the map once I get out of this place. Please, boss, please. Surely today's the day you'll say yes. I know I'm weak and useless. That's why the mist got to me. But no one could be more passionate about work than me. Please, boss. Please let me be your pr apprentice. You hopeless dreamer. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't take apprentices? And yet you, keep, you still keep coming back and pestering me. Very well. I'll work you so hard you won't know what's hit you. But boss... Yes, boss! Never mind! That was not the thing. Oh! Found it! You offered millet dumplings! Okay, so next to the the ghost that appears at night and the man that we healed using the herbal medicine, you can give the millet dumplings to this girl or monkey or... What even are you? Uh, hey, hey, my millet dumplings! Where did you find them? Thanks for bringing them to me instead of just gobbling them up. Okay, so let's go to part three of this thing. I per okay, sorry. We are we are having a tender moment. I've been pretending to be a hero, defeating demons on Oni Island. Why don't you play with me? I don't mind that you're just a dog. What's with the music? Um. Um. Oh wow. Okay. So we talked to her. And she gives us her food. I don't get why this music is playing, though. Okay, so this is like an inf infinite place to grind for food? I never knew that. But <laughs> I don't know why the music is playing. It's like serious music, and that was not a serious moment. Uh, and I didn't want to do that. Uh, moon. Okay, part three of this... This... This strange venture... Uh, let's go do the thief thing like we've done before. Is it in here? No, is it in here? 
Is it in here? Yes, it is. Or he is. He's also pe eating a gourd, apparently. Uh, he's got the goods. Yep. Yeah, get him into order. Uh, he'll have probably have four people running in midair. Okay, so we have power slash, water, um, fire, and power slash. That's actually... Okay. They're color-coded, so it's not like you're ever going to forget. This. Nope. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need fire. No, let me catch up to you. That was a dumb move. You could just run around, and I wouldn't have killed you. Because you are dead. Boom. Bang. That was really easy. It won't be so easy next time. Man, Amaterasu has an arch enemy. Okay, so this is the chrysanthemum uh, hairpin that I had talked about before. And if you remember, it's also the chrysanthemum hairpin that this guy in here was lamenting about losing. Just like in any RPG, we the main character is the only one that can fix the people's problems, and this is no exception. We offer the chrysanth chrysanthemum hairpin to the city dweller that was drunk uh, many d d days ago. Hey, that's my chrysanthemum hairpin. I spent a fortune on that thing. Someone stole it from me, and I'd given up on seeing it again. I don't know where you managed to come by it, Mutt, but I can tell tell you how happy I am that you did. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I suppose that means it's time. Time to ki tell Kiku. Time to tell her I or I um I love her. Aww. Now I can tell Kiko, uh, Kiko. Now I can tell Kiko, Kiku, that I love her. Maybe we'll end up getting married. Hehe, <laughs> what a great dog you are. Aw, that's so cute. And now for the last part of this quest. There. <laughs> I, I, I like making noises, in case you guys never, never would have guessed. I mean, it's not like I do it often, you know? Okay, so final part, boom. Never mind. He he knows better than that. Boom. Oh. I wonder where he could be. I wonder where he could be. He could be anywhere. Staring at us with a sniper rifle. He could have his laser right on us and we wouldn't even know. Or he could be in the rock. No. The rock. Right next to the stupid guard. Hehehe. <laughs> No one has ever gotten this far against me. I can see it in your eyes. You mean business with that shocking attack of yours. You leave me no choice. You'll never catch me with my five-way Vanshin act. First one, then two, get him in order. I'm the most annoying character in the world. I don't know why I made him so annoying. Okay, uh, so we have to use Thunderstorm on him. Power Slash. Water. Okay. Fire. And Power Slash. I hope I'll remember that. Okay, so we can't actually do anything to him for a good a good long while. There's no source of thunder that we can see, except for one. If we can chase after him long enough. There you go. I was, I was wondering when you're going to get around to actually landing. We can jump at Yugen. And then, after we jump at Yugen, we can keep following his <laughs> floating selves. It's so ridiculous looking. I don't even have to riff on this. It's so weird. It just, I'm gonna run in the air. Yeah, it's like really bad internet lag that went wrong. Okay, jump, jump. Ugh. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Now, this is the only for only only form of thunder thunderstorm that you have. So use it wisely. You want to use this on that. There you go. Now you can actually start attacking him. Power slash on that one. And then, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, water spout on, no, 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 water spout, let's do this, water spout on that guy, and pardon me a moment, sorry about that, my mic was almost falling off, we want to catch up with him, okay, he's right there, I believe, yeah, power slash, no, man, I got it wrong, that was dumb. Okay, uh, let me be. Let me cut right, cut back to where I was. Okay, the last two are actually they randomly generate. All five randomly generate. So the last two you want to do for this one are two thunderstorms, which is going to be 
a little bit difficult to pull off. There's one, and let's see if this will work. There's two. Yes, it did indeed work. Sir, you are defeated. To think you'd, you'd defeat my vanishing act. I got nothing else off my sleeve, but I'm glad we were able to compete. Your lightning fast skills were truly impressive. 50 praise from a thief! I've, I'm done picking people's pockets. From now on, I'm going to be a fleet footed detective like you. No more stealing for Hayazo, Master of Thieves. Well, except for those skills of, the, uh, skills of yours. Whoa! Speaking of which, okay, he's gone. And we get the mask! <laughs> which Amaterasu wears on her face! That's adorable! Like, that's so cute! So she's wearing the, the Tao Master mask, or the Tao mask on her face. So, as much as I'd love to keep this for the rest of the game, I believe it will actually like despawn when we leave here. I'd really love to actually keep that for the rest of the game, but alas, I actually have to return it to to good old not honest Abe. The water power spring work. There we go. Okay. So let's complete this quest line by bringing back the mask to Abe, getting some more praise, enough so we can actually upgrade one of our attributes. We can actually already do it, but I want to wait till we get the praise from this. Okay. Actually, I'm curious about what happens if we talk to this guy with the mask on. We couldn't do a thing this time. Of course, we wanted to we wanted protect Queen Himiko, but she ordered us to stand down. Maybe she knew something that we didn't. Whatever the reason, this is a heartbreaking outcome for us. What will become of the Tau Troopers now that she's dead? Well, the Emperor should take over, I would assume. Okay, I thought he might say something special because we have a mask on, but he doesn't. So let's just approach this guy. Huh? That thing you're wearing, isn't that my Tau mask that was stolen? You gave him the Tau mask. You brought it back for me. Oh, thank you. Really, I mean it. And now he's wearing it, and we get 50 praise! Wow, okay. <laughs> he looked better without th that silly thing. Well, how do I look? Oh, um, not bad, I guess. As long as you're happy. Really? Anyway, I'd like to give you this this to thank you for finding my mask. And we get a stray bead. Not the last stray bead of this area, but the second to last. If you hold that bead in your hand and wish with all your heart, I, Ab uh, Abe, will come rushing to your side. Anytime, anywhere. Interesting. Yeah, right. Just kidding. Now, for your real reward. You know, that secret about Captain Waka that I promised to tell you. I almost forgot. Well, I'd ab I, I've always been absolutely fascinated by Captain Waka. That's why I've studied so much about him. You wouldn't believe what I found out. Try me. Okay, the Tau Troopers have begun... Ha Sorry. The, okay, the Tau Troopers have been around for over 200 years, but there's no mention of any captain before Captain Waka. Pretty strange, huh? Er, I don't get it. In other words, if you look back over our 200 year history, the only captain's name that ever pops up is Captain Waka's. That would make Captain Waka over 200 years old. Now you have my attention. 200 years is nothing for someone like me, but for a human? Now that's just plain weird. There's also a matter of magic of that magical projection device. Only he knows how to use it. He really is a mysterious figure. Hmm. So, we did learn something about him. He's not human. Hmm. Interesting. And also, <laughs> neither is he soon. Who would have thought? But seriously, if uh, 200 years is nothing for Isun, then imagine what he is. Imagine how old he is. That was actually a very convenient landing. Huh, stuff to think about. So, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. We completed some side quests, one of which had some really insightful information. And um, next episode, we're going to be doing some more side quests. Finishing up the, uh, the stray bead collection for Seon City. And I believe the Aristocratic Quarter, I think. Uh, yes, we'll be finishing that up in the Aristocratic Quarter. So, uh, join me then. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. So, 
I'll see you next time on Pal Plays Okami. Oh, uh, one more thing. If you were wondering... Let me turn it to nighttime here. If you were wondering who Raiden was and what his purposes were... Let's go ahead and do this. Get on the thing. If you're wondering what his purpose was, literally his only purpose was to provide a source of electricity to shock um, Hayase. Yeah. Did you see my powers in action? I thought I thought there weren't enough to keep me occupied every day, but that was before I realized I was capable of that. Maybe I could put it to good use and start helping people out. Maybe, man. Maybe. So yeah, he has no side quest. He's just he's just a source of electricalness. Okay, um, in the end slate, I believe I can actually ferry these people around and get praise, I think. If if not, then I'll just do it once and then just continue on with the normal end slate. So yeah, that is what I'll, I will be doing. See you guys next time.